there, and welcome back to my vanilla Minecraft survival with me, Trinus. How's everyone doing today? Good, I hope. Uh, I've been busy, <laughs> maybe a little bit too busy over the weekend, because uh, believe it or not, I've actually been quite enjoying myself on this vanilla uh, single player, even though it may not be the most popular with you guys. I've been enjoying it myself and like I say I have been a little bit busy and maybe a little bit too busy like I said so uh, the reason why you're down there and I'm up here is because I wanted to do a little bit of a, a reveal of what I've been doing there were a couple of sneak peeks there if you kept your eyes open but tell me what you think to this yes uh, the staircase and a little bit of detail work on the tower and the uh, main front gate part uh, you know I'm always open to feedback on this I am NOT the perfect builder I'm really out of my element here in more cases than one so you know do let me know what you think so what have I been doing <laughs> well you can see the large staircase that I have going off uh, I've done a little bit more detail work on this side I've still got this side to do uh, and I've also been doing a little bit of work on the tower itself and I've also got a I don't know what you would call this a rim I suppose to kind of break it up a little bit so it's not just all stone uh, and then I've got the top of the gatehouse uh, completed as well as well I say complement completed it may be due a little bit of work because uh, it does look a little bit flattish uh, but yeah uh, the staircase itself let's concentrate on that that actually went through uh, a few stages of development and uh, I was going to record it but uh, when I watched it back it was kind of a bit dull and boring because all it was was me complaining and moaning that it wasn't actually going right and then it was just placing blocks in different positions uh, rather not very good not that this episode is going to be any better but you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah originally I had the staircase coming out from the door and then just coming straight down in a straight line and I thought that were a little bit too boring uh, so I got rid of it uh, and then I made it that so it came out then a little bit down and then across then a little bit down then across then a little bit down and then it looked a little bit better and a little bit more castle-ish but it still uh, didn't look quite right it is going dark uh, so let me just move away from here uh, then I just made it rather large with all staircases a similar sort of pattern that I've got at the top uh, this area here tell you what let me just sleep and I'll go back in my position because it, it is a better position to actually uh, look at this at uh, so just give me one second I know it's just me talking at the moment. Okay, there we go. And we'll get back into that area. And uh, like I was saying, uh, these were all stairs going down, but it looked a little bit too steep and heavy uh, sort of thing. I mean, it, it kind of looks a little bit too heavy now, uh, so to speak, with how much stone and stuff is in this. Uh, but uh, so I altered it to that and I, it was starting to look too wide <laughs> if you know what I mean uh, so that's when I altered the stairs to have a little bit more of a, uh, a straight bit and then come straight down with the stairs and the stairs went all the way across there wasn't this bit here uh, but then when I looked at it it looked a little bit too much so I broke it up and I had this uh, little mini tower if you want to call it and I kind of like this 
uh, however I still don't know if the design on the top is quite right or if I should add a little bit more detail to it because these are spruce fences and I don't know if I really should alter them to oak fences uh, and then obviously you've got these nice thick corner bits here and here which I don't know if I like uh, <laughs> to be quite honest but I thought this was kind of cool because this was a good place for whoever rules this kingdom to come and stand here and meet his followers or or there's a guard stood here watching out for everyone and you know because obviously there's going to be uh, this is going to be like a small courtyard sort of thing with paths maybe a blacksmith or a stable or something in that corner or you know something I don't know we'll, we'll get to that later I've still got so much work to do on this it's unbelievable one of my largest projects to date I must admit um, especially considering I've got no flying capabilities I've got no uh, mods of any sort in this apart from maybe Optifine is a little bit of a mod but um, but uh, yeah, uh, I still don't know if I'm really happy with this little top bit of the tower either. So, uh, you know, any design ideas? Because one thing I was thinking of maybe-ish was to actually put a, a roof of something on top of it. But then if you stood over there, would it obscure the view of the main gate sort of thing? because uh, even though uh, you know you can see it now but if I put a roof on it would it be a little bit too much I don't know and the other thing I kind of been um and around about is the staircase itself because like I said it looks a little bit too heavy so I'm thinking maybe I should add cobblestone I haven't actually got any cobblestone here with me cobblestone and maybe a little bit of wood here and there you know, because the stairs have got worn down in certain places, maybe got a bit of a quick repair job with the wood. Uh, so it's not so perfect, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, I do have a crafting table here. Unfortunately, I don't have any proper cobble on me. Uh, but anyway, uh, the tower. Let's have a look at the tower. That's another bit that I was doing. Uh, more yesterday and uh, I came up with this design on the tower uh, and I had to dig all this dirt away uh, to make it look quite right I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that little lot there and that might need to disappear and by I mean that I mean this here because um, I don't know if I should actually connect here or not. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit do I don't that sort of thing. I mean, the gravel would disappear anyway because I, you know, that needs to be turned into dirt. Uh, definitely, but. Uh, yeah, it's just like this bit here. Should I knock it down a little bit more or make it match that? Yeah. <laughs> the decisions I've got to make, and hopefully with your help, we'll come up with a decision. Uh, but, yeah, the, the tower. Let's go back onto the tower. Uh, so, yeah, I just basically uh, came across here, made this little design, which kind of looks like it's giving you the two... A rude finger gestures, one on each hand, if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if I should alter that or not. Uh, but there's going to be a window here, and then I've ended up with it like this heart design pattern here by accident. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I should put like a banner or something here. Not one of the Minecraft banners that you can actually make. Uh, one of the actual uh, banners that uh, I can make with wool or something like that maybe a giant T or something like that so I may even open it up to like a competition sort of thing where the winner gets their banner put up on my castle sort of thing I don't know I don't know um, 
because I'm not very good with the pixel art sort of things. Uh, well, I gather this is a little bit of pixel art, but it's not like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I ended up with this little heart pattern and then uh, the three windows down here sort of thing. They're not proper windows. Uh, they don't do anything other than uh, be a little bit of an indent sort of thing. But uh, yeah, because if I knock the d this away, uh, you'll see it doesn't particularly lead anywhere because it's just uh, normal stone at the back. Cause it's, even though it's part of the tower, it's not kind of part of the tower. It's a bit of an optical illusion sort of thing, maybe. The trick of the eye. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Uh, but uh, yeah, then at the very top, as you can see, I've got this little bit of an outline here. That's not going to be the top of the tower. However, that area there where it's sticking out of it is the top of the gate out of the tower. We'll go up uh, a bit more. I don't know how much more as yet. Uh, but we'll, we'll see and obviously that side as well. Uh, so let me know what you think to that design as well. That's oak wood up and sideways uh, being supported with uh, cobblestone walls and stone brick stairs uh, we can actually go up there as well we can have a, a quick nosy and then we'll make do a little bit of work on that staircase just to see what people think to add in a little bit of cobblestone here and there but uh, yeah this is the very top of the gatehouse and like I said the tower will come up a lot higher than this uh, but yeah you can really get a nice view from here for the time being anyway and uh, you can really commit suicide if you really wanted to <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah this is uh, kind of how it would look and I thought well uh, if any archers are coming down the good thing is that they can't get attacked from the bottom but they can't really attack downwards either so it's not very practical having these here but uh, it does add the depth to it um, so yeah obviously I've still got a ton of work to do and then I've still got to decide how I'm going to incorporate this into this wall along here uh, we'll have to see what it looks like when I've actually completed everything but I kind of want to get the design of the tower up so I know roughly what I'm doing and then I've got to repeat it at least uh, one two at least three times and then any other times as well that I make this design now where's my ladder here it is because uh, it's a long way down if I don't use this ladder <laughs> so uh, yeah let's do a little bit of work on that staircase and see what some wood and some cobble will actually do for us so there's some uh, I haven't really got that much oak wood which is kind of I have got some spruce stairs I don't know if they will work they might be a little bit too dark uh, that's the problem with this texture pack is that spruce is a little bit too dark but I think the majority of it will be cobblestone anyway if I did that at all and let's get a few slabs and we'll see what things look like so like I said the, any areas that have got like wood uh, which I haven't actually made any wood slabs but never mind never mind we will we can make some oh it's green dark again <laughs> uh, reason why I'm a little bit concerned about it green dark and whatnot is obviously creepers can come up behind me and they can blow up and then I'll have to restart everything uh, <laughs> and I don't really fancy uh, repairing creeper damage uh, so yeah I always try to maintain that it is a day and uh, obviously I've got cheats disabled so I cannot disable creeper explosions which is a good thing and a bad thing uh, so let's we don't need them just now so um, let's do a little bit of 
random well people say it's random but I don't think it is I think it's a little bit planned it's got to be um, we kind of subconsciously know where they want things let's have a look at that is that that does look a little bit better but also out of place as well doesn't it um, so let's destroy that one and oh, see now that is a little bit too bright um, and that might be a little bit too dark uh, <laughs> that's the only two wood types I've actually got now that doesn't kind of work does it that does not work at all um, so let's put you there but the odd one or two cobble does kind of work in the middle of the staircase just not at the front of it sort of thing um, yeah okay let's uh, do that one there as well right, okay let's have a look at this from the background see this is kind of what I was doing uh, before in the episode you will now see uh, it does add a little bit more to it from the from back here doesn't it, it doesn't make it look make, it breaks it up a little bit more so yeah okay maybe I should keep that uh, obviously again you know let me know what you think you know um, don't be shy I'm open to all sorts of criticism with you me uh, let's have a look see if we can do something about these stairs now I haven't got many of these but I suppose I don't really need that many um, just even there concentrating more on this side than anything moment just to compare the two uh, different areas uh, maybe another one down here somewhere and up there right, let's have a, a quick gander at that um, see what we think Yeah, that does look better, doesn't it? it? It breaks it up nicely. Yeah, so I might actually keep that. See, now I'm wondering whether or not I should actually do that to the main wall as well. Uh, because if you notice, if I move the mouse, you can actually see a little bit of an effect. The curvatures, because I've used all the same brick. And that's not very nice to look at, so... Uh, maybe breaking it up with a little bit of cobblestone here and there or something I know this but I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait before I do it, anything on those sorts of lines because yeah like I say I want to get that tower completed and see what I'm doing and then there's gonna be another window there a window there a window there a banner there and then that may help not having the curvature effect I don't know if that's coming through on the camera I hope it is on the recording even uh, <laughs> on the camera uh, this is the recording uh, so yeah I suppose I could do a little bit on here um, let's have a nosy one there and one down here Because I purposely made that to be fully bricks. Um, yeah, I think that might actually help a lot. Just because I know with the texture pack I'm using, the smaller bricks and the main bricks do actually help. Because um, if I have a, if we have a quick look 
at the normal default picture. Yes, I'm using a little bit of Wells Knight's texture pack as well. Uh, but this is what you would get without it. Um, it still doesn't look too bad, but it's all just one texture. So, uh, yeah. Oh, which actually brings me on to another thing. The, the sky I thought was part of Optifine. It's not. Uh, it's actually part of... Uh, Wells Knight's texture pack because I'm using a mixture of B double O's and Wells Knight, but I'm having B double O's texture pack take priority, uh, and then that's when I get the decent sky as well. So, obviously, that's part of that one. Uh, if I disable Wells Knight's texture pack, oops, I don't think I did it properly. Then there we go, click done. Uh, you will see the sky for B double O is exactly the same. So, yeah, uh, resource perks go into there, and that goes like that. And then there we go. We get everything back. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. So it's been a bit more of a talky episode and a bit more of a catchy up. Um, but really, when it comes to building, I don't really know what you really want to see, whether or not you want to see me actually do some of the building or not. Uh, plus, this is a lot of planning, um and and uh, this sort of style, whether or not I do things and do I like it, don't I like it sort of thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, do let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you've got any other hints, tips or any other suggestions, or even if you just want to say hi, feel free to put that in the comment section below. Uh, and if you did enjoy today's episode, please remember to hit that like button. But regardless, as always, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.